absolutely. It must take quite a lot of practice in private to get that uh, down pat. And I'll be fairly happy with that shot. Here he is again on sixth. A little over swing. It's a six hole, it's par three, 86 yards, so it's obviously not going to need the biggest thwack in the world. Ah, Ben Joyce on the sixth. Now this hole is his nemesis. Oh dear, he's hit that low and left, he's not going to be happy with that at all. Oh dear, oh dear. And the leaderboard after six. Watson, Bray and Matakamaru taking up the lead. Joyce and Chris Rock are buying middle ground. And Farrington, Henderson and Walters, Henderson and Walters in particular, lagging far behind. They have their work cut out now. And now, six old Sean Farrington. Over to our roving reporter, William Jobling. Well, Zafford, I have to say, Sean Farrington's in quite a lot of trouble here. He shanked his tee shot unbelievably and has been forced to drop out. I'll have to talk quietly. Don't want to distract the play. Settling himself here, preparing. Oh dear, one practice stroke too many, perhaps. He wants to make certain. Oh. to have experienced some technical difficulties. However, back now is Sean Farrington. Oh, oh, he's got problems. He hits his ball really hard over the green into the bushes. Will Jobling is on the scene. Thank you, Zafford. I've a very clear view here. Farrington is in deep trouble. Unless he can get sufficient elevation on his shaft, he's going to find it very difficult to get out of this deep, impenetrable bush. Let's see what he does. Oh dear. Oh no. He's skewed right off course. He, oh, and he's even, he's, he's fallen over. Dear me. Oh, well, that really wasn't very convincing at all. He's deeply in the mire. That's one shot too many on this hole, I think. He's going to be struggling to get onto par. Onto par. Oh, but he's, he's squirted the ball out between, the, between some trees now. Back to you, Zafod. Uh, thanks very much, William. Looks like Farrington's in trouble there. Uh, Grant Christopher. Uh, such a lovely swing. What do you say, Dr. Demon? He's got a very good action there. Not, not, not as elegant as some of the players, but highly effective. Now then, looks like we've got Sean Farrington again. He's just come out of the bushes. Let's see what he can do. He's taking one too many practice swings. We don't call him Sean Practice Stroke Farrington for nothing, do we? No, we don't. He's got a sort of a short, sort of little, sort of, uh, he's got a sort of little digger of a swing there. Approach looks good. Sean just got on the green there. Now, Grant Christopher, eighth hole. Good hit, but um, a little left by the looks of things. He doesn't look too happy with it. Now then, what can Ben Joyce do? The current world record holder. 31 strokes to play around, nine holes. We'll take a few practice swings here. It's a good approach. And that's a nice crisp swing he's taken there. That's uh, looking not too bad. Slightly left. Slightly left. Oh, no, he's pushed it well past. He's obviously taken a club or two too high there. Let's see what Sean Farrington can do here. Sean Fazza Farrington. He's getting his balls out of his pocket. Okay. He's making a decision as to which ball he wants to use. But is this is this some sort of tactic to put the other players off, Doctor Demon? Probably not. He uses he uses a ball called the Metal Matrix. It's a special new ball developed by uh, developed 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 by his own company, Farrington Enterprises. And, uh, it's rumored that these balls have special special powers. What kind of special powers are we talking about? Uh, relating to golf, primarily. I think that's gone low. He doesn't like that at all. He's looking down at the ground. Eyes didn't even raise above. Anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at the scoreboard. Uh, James Bray into a, a lead at the turn. Closely followed by Matkamari and Watson. And indeed Joyce. And then there's a, a big break where you've got a, a few players 
looking, well, basically not so good. Now then, interesting situation here. Will Jobling, what's happened? Well, Grant Christopher seems to be in quite a bit of difficulty here. As you can see there, he's alighted on the wrong side of a small copse. And uh, he's trying to find a way through, but to be honest with you, Zafod, I'm not confident of a successful outcome here. Oh, and he seems to have put that well right. He's not going to be very happy with that at all. Let's see where we... Oh, dear. Well, he might have a clear... Does, is he going to have a clear path to the to the actual green he's trying to uh, get to? Well, I think he may have got mixed up as to which hole he's actually aiming for. But here's Chris Factoid Henderson. Can he do any better? What do you think, Dr. Steve? Um, he's got a good swing, but I, I, I fear for his chances here. And he's given that a right belt. And it's gone right past the green. He's in big trouble there. Now then, Grant's next shot. Will. Well, he's got a good height on the ball, but frankly, I don't think even the cameraman knows where it's gone. Let's take a look at Grant Christopher's career stats. He's uh, not won any major titles yet, but he's widely tipped to win some of them future. Not very much career earnings. He's actually spent an awful lot of money on travel to and from events. And he steps up. Oh, now that's got to count as a stroke, surely. Not technically speaking. I mean, I would want to consult an expert, but I don't think he hit the ball. I don't think it counts. Well, I'm not sure what the rules are. Uh, sh should we ask uh, Will Jobling about what he thinks? Well, I think as we saw there, Christopher's practice strokes seem to bear no relation to the actual strokes he takes, so on those grounds I, I, I think we can let him get away with that one. Thank you very much Will, and not a bad shot there from Christopher I would say.